now available from Polygram Video. NFL's Feel the Power puts you in the middle of the action and unveils the hidden power of the NFL's elite. The NFL's Greatest Games delivers the play-by-play -play power of resilience in two volumes, the Ice Bowl and Super Bowl III. With NFL's Greatest Moments, you'll catch the most powerful images of pro football. Throws his pass, caught by Clark! It's caught out of the air by Franco Harris! Coach Shula has won number 325. Experience the power of laughter with NFL <laughs> talking Follies. Okay, throw a fake ball and keep the real ball in your shirt. You can't use more than one ball. Mom! NFL Throwbacks brings you the power of tradition and links future stars with heroes from the past. Lock and load, baby! Lock and load! Collect your favorite teams and witness the power of teamwork with the NFL official video yearbooks. Collect them all and feel the power of NFL films on home video. New Edge Pro Gel, official sponsor of NFL Team Highlight Films. Edge Pro Gel will give you a shave so comfortable that no other gel or foam can beat it. For a great, comfortable shave every day, try New Edge Pro Gel. Save your skin. Okay, let's go. Let's finish strong. Finish right. Come on, let's go. In 1996, the Bengals finished strong and finished right. Touchdown! Yes! Huge! When Bruce Koslett took over in midseason, he coached the squad to one of the most stunning comebacks in the history of the NFL, winning seven of their last nine games. In that turnaround, there were also heroic come-from-behind victories. Time and again, Cincinnati battled back to beat the odds and their opponents. They come from behind. The Bengals come back and beat the Ravens. Comeback performers led the team on the field. Quarterback Jeff Blake drove the offense back to the league's top five in scoring as he reignited his own game during the stretch run. Blake's favorite target was Carl Pickens. The AFC's number one receiver earned a second straight trip to the Pro Bowl. He also shattered more team records with three consecutive thousand yard seasons and a new benchmark for receptions. That's history. Carl Pickens, the first ever Bengal with 100 catches in a season. Strip that ball. Strip it. Strip that ball. A balanced attack sparked the Bengal comeback where Cincinnati relentlessly pursued the ball on defense and grabbed the lead crown for turnovers. Cornerback Ashley Ambrose led the squad in interceptions and came up with a start in the Pro Bowl. These are the battles of the come from behind Bengals. In the first seven games of the Bengals' 96 season, the squad lost its footing, winning just once. Opportunities missed their mark, and leads evaporated as the team flirted with victory, but failed to finish off its opponents. Lines are down, everybody set, good snap, good spot, Pelfrey's kick, airborne, no, oh, no, good. The bloodletting reached critical mass against San Francisco. The Bengals surged to a 21 to nothing lead, only to see it slip away with 28 unanswered points. That defeat also marked the departure of Dave Shula as head coach. In week nine, a determined squad took the field. They were now coached by Bruce Coslett, who had stepped forward to show them the way. The comeback victories would continue.
But now it was Cincinnati who would engineer them. Trailing by a touchdown, the Bengals burned the Jaguars with 21 straight points in the fourth quarter. Drops back to throw, looks, fires, right corner of the end zone, Pickens. Oh, got it. Oh, touchdown. What a play! Carl Pickens. And Jeff Blake underthrew it. Carl Pickens came around, Dave Thomas makes a one handed catch of the football. Unbelievable individual effort. Another great individual performer was number 99, Dan Wilkinson, who had set a blistering pace as the team sack leader. The disruptive attack by Wilkinson and his teammates triggered a relentless takeaway strategy that set the tone for the rest of the season. Drops quickly to throw left side ball deflected in the oh! Orlando. Orlando. Yeah. Well, it was deflected at the line of scrimmage, and the Bengals have the ball right near the Jaguar 20. The contest also featured the resurgent running game. Kajana Carter broke through with two fourth quarter touchdowns on his way to a total of eight for the season. Wilhelm the snap, hand to Carter going left side. Oh, nice to move. the four, to the end zone, touchdown. Nice move. Kajana Carter, second effort again, and the Bengals lead grows. Bruce Coslett's first effort was drenched with success as Cincinnati's comeback kids went gunning for Baltimore. The next week in that contest, the Ravens drew first and pushed the Bengals' backs up against the wall. By halftime, Cincinnati trailed 21-3. To score another comeback meant literally holding on to the ball. In the second half, Cincinnati's time of possession was nearly three times that of Baltimore. Marks out the call, takes the snap, pitch corner, going left side. See I four, three, two, one, Kajana Carter touchdown. The Bengals still find themselves on the short side of the scoreboard, however. Struggling to come from behind, the team ground out 268 yards of offense, their best second half total for the season. There'll be a slot on the right. Blake back to throw. Run it the middle and runs it into the end zone, Jeff Blake. Well, you can't run the option, run the quarterback draw. What the heck? Unbelievable. The defense held the Ravens scoreless in the second half with a series of drive-killing interceptions. With the score tied after a Doug Pelfrey field goal, Jeff Blake led the team on a last-minute desperation drive to decide the game and overcome the largest road deficit in franchise history. They get the first down, clock still running it with three seconds left in the fourth quarter. Lee Johnson calls high snap, but Johnson gets it. Yes! Pelfrey kicks yes. it. Yes! Up and good, and the Bengals win it. They come from behind on a 35-yard field goal by Doug Pelfrey, and the Bengals come back and beat the Ravens 24-21. And Bruce Coslett with a nice two-game winning streak going for his football team. The month-old memory of a mauling by arch-rival Pittsburgh was fresh in the minds of the Bengals. But fresher still was a sense of confidence among the squad after back-to-back -back victories. There was a new spirit in Synergy Field, a unity that grew from the ability to beat the odds. And while everyone on the team stepped up to face the challenge together, each Bengal made his own individual contribution to the contest. In this high-stakes game of give and take, the Steelers put the Bengals in a hole for the first time in the second quarter. Carl Pickens responded, tying the club record with 12 catches for 103 yards while setting up the offense to even the score. Handoff Carter, left side, cross the plane, into the end zone, no signal, yep, there it is, touchdown, Kajana Carter, and for Carter, his fifth rushing touchdown. Pittsburgh pushed Cincinnati back a second time near the end of the half. Return man David Dunn rose to that challenge on the ensuing kickoff. And a low kick, but it carries all the way back. David Dunn fields it on the line drive at the 10. Up the middle, Dunn, 20, 25, 30. Loose left side, 35 to the 40, David Dunn. He's to the 50. Johnson giving chase into Steeler territory, David Dunn. Oh, Down to the side, oh, he goes. Five-yard oh, line, touchdown, David Dunn. Oh, man. At the end of the half, David Dunn runs the kickoff back 90 yards. There are only four seconds to go when he fielded the kick. No time on the clock. 
and the Bengals tie it up. In the middle of the third quarter, the Steelers took the lead for a third time. Eric Bieniemy answered with the longest rushing touchdown of the year. And Blake will pitch, and that's Bieniemy left side, 35, oh, 40, really? 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Yes! Touchdown, Eric Bieniemy! 33-yard touchdown run, and the Bengals now an extra point away from tying the football game. When Pittsburgh threatened to take the lead a fourth time, Pro Bowl cornerback Ashley Ambrose stepped up. His grab put him at the top of the NFL in interceptions, and his team on the way to a third straight comeback victory. Blake under center, receives the ball, drops the oh. throw, pressure coming, screen, Carter right side. 15, 10, behind the block, yeah. five, touchdown! Wow. To John Carter, his second of the ball game. The Bengals had faced the challenge together by contributing individually. Then they shared the victory with fans and family. The next week, the bubble burst. The Bills scored seven direct hits on Jeff Blake and held the team to a season low in passing yards. How Cincinnati would respond to this defeat would define them as a team. The next week, no one felt the heat more than Jeff Blake. Bruce Coslett had challenged him to bounce back from one of his worst losses as Cincinnati's field general. Blake responded with a stunning personal turnaround. Starting with Atlanta, the Bengals quarterback began a five-game aerial assault. He completed over 60% of his passes for nearly 1,400 yards. And his 308 completions for the season was second in Bengal history, just shy of the mark he'd set himself the year before. Blake with the ball, backpedaling, looking to toss. Sets, fires down the middle yes. of the field. Scott got a touchdown. Darn it, Scott. The defense made their own mark during the torrid first quarter scoring streak. Bengals showing the blitz. Hebert back to throw. Dumps it, and it's batted oh. into the air. Oh, he got it. And the Bengals come up with their 26th interception of the year. I think the Bengals are going to roll up some passing yards today. Bengals lead it already, 10-0, looking for more. Blake back to throw, Falcons blitzing. Blake sends one high in the air again. Got Bengals him. left side, got it at the 20. Oh, 10, 5, high steps into the end zone, touchdown. Unbelievable. You talking about bomb after bomb after bomb. Call off the dogs, the Falcons are saying already. Big time, 61-yard touchdown. In a role reversal, the opponent now fought to come back, pulling to within three points of Cincinnati. But Pro Bowler Pickens swept past them all with his best performance of the year, gaining 176 yards on his way to three touchdowns. In the fourth quarter, halfback Eric Bieniemy and the offense poured it on marching toward 463 total yards. Blake under center, handoff, Brian Mill, touchdown! The rookie from Penn State, his first start. He's gotten his first career carries, and he takes it in for six. Steve Tovar and the defense provided the counter punch to keep the team heading toward their best scoring performance of the 1990s. Blake looks, he's going to throw left side for Pickens in the end zone. Yep, got it. Touchdown, Kyle Pickens. His third of the day. He beat Anthony Phillips, torched him like a bad piece of toast. By the end of the firestorm, the Bengals had scored the most points in 109 regular season games, a mark that stretched back to 1989. And they proved that, as a team, they had truly come back. As the season reached the stretch run, one of the main reasons for the Bengals' resurgence was a balanced attack. On special teams, Lee Johnson finished the year with a career-best punting average, while Doug Pelfrey established himself as the NFL's all-time leader in field goal accuracy. Empty backfield, Blake to toss, looking, steps through the pocket, fires up the middle, oh, caught, five-yard line into the end zone, Carl Pickens, touchdown Bengals. Who else? 
The balanced attack also featured Blake and Pickens, who continued as the league's most lethal scoring duo, connecting for 37 touchdowns in the last three seasons. They were protected by an offensive line that featured number one draft pick Willie Anderson, named the two NFL All-Rookie teams. Defensively, Cincinnati dominated as the NFL's champs in turnovers. In fact, they set a club record when 13 different players had interceptions for the year. Against Baltimore, special teams kept the game close with back-to-back -back Pelfrey field goals. Then, trailing by a point in the fourth quarter, the offense took over to lead the rally. Second and goal. Bengals at the Raven one with 320 left in the game. Blake with a football. Fakes the handoff. Throws it yes. in the end zone. Wide yes. open. Touchdown, Tony McGee. Yes. Blake faked them all. And the Bengals up 19-14. And the Bengals are going to go for two, it appears. Blake under center gets the ball. Hands off. Hurts yes. up the middle. He's got it. Yes. Garrison hers for two. It's the Bengals 21. The Ravens 14. To protect that lead, the defense dug in at the goal line with the clock ticking. Four times, the Ravens came rapping at the door. Both the Bengals never mold. Third and goal for the Ravens of the Bengal one with 36 seconds left in the game. Westerverde under center, hands to Bam Moore, no, straight ahead, no. stop short. Stop short again, wow. And the Ravens will look at fourth and goal. 30 seconds left. The play of the game right here. Testaverde with a football looking to throw. Comes it left side. Yes. The receiver dropped yes. at the one. Yes. He threw for Garner at the one, and he was stopped by Sam Stade. And Cincinnati stands rock solid on the goal line. On the strong arms of the defense, the Bengals were lifted to a fourth comeback victory in seven games. The next week, the squad entered the Astrodome to settle a score with Houston. Earlier in the season, the Oilers had won a gut-wrenching overtime victory in front of a national TV audience. This time, the team knew every element of the game plan was in place. But while the offense would have to wait, the defense got right to work. In the first half, the Bengal defenders stymied the Oilers allowing only two field goals. But Cincinnati's offense also stole, with only one first down and a six-point deficit at the break. Bruce Coslett redrew the battle plan as Jeff Blake connected with David Dunn three times for 64 yards in an aerial attack on the goal line. Trailing 6-0. Blake with the football, straight back to throw. Sets at the 23, fires down the middle of the field, caught, touchdown! Yes! James Hundum and the Bengals have tied the game. Within minutes, veteran linebacker James Francis confronted the Oilers, capping off his season best performance. And back is Chandler to toss, sets at the 30, right side fires, pick oh, off Francis, 40 yard line. Down the sideline, James Francis, 20, 15, five, touchdown! Man, James Francis picks it off and it into the house of the Bengals. See their lead increase. While the defense kept Houston out of the end zone until late in the contest, Jeff Blake and company surged toward their fifth scoring rally in eight games. Blitz, Blake hands off Kajana Carter, left oh, yes. five, touchdown Kajana Carter. The Bengals were headed home for the season finale and the opportunity to end the year headed toward a bright and successful future. By their last game of the year, the Bengals had beaten the odds. Ready to go, Blake? They'd rallied in a season that began disastrously and come back against opponents with startling regularity. As the architect of that turnabout, Bruce Coslett calmly coached the squad toward a bright future. 
I want to go 84 Dancer. Okay, think Snoop to the Papoose. Okay. okay. And, and, you know, Papoose. Yes. Okay. On third and eight for the Bengals at the Colt 10. Blake back to pass. Set to the 19. Pressure coming down the middle. Fires caught. Ahead. Touchdown. David Dunn Big with time. his first touchdown from scrimmage. I'll tell you what, David Dunn. That boy can play some football. Colt show blitz. Second and 10 Cincinnati from their own 20. And Blake back to throw. Looking screen left side. Intercepted. And it's going to be run into the end zone for a touchdown. on the ground, I mean, but he didn't look. You know, you were waiting for him to look. I understand. Okay. That was a good all read. Right. Uh, all right. Oh, oh. They're going to blitz on second down. They're going to blitz and play man. We'll make him pay for it. Colt showing the blitz. Blake back. Fakes the handoff. Sets to throw. Yes. In the middle of the field. Pitch David Dunn in the 20. Oh. Dunn 15. 10. Oh. One yard line. David Dunn. Hey. Tackled short of six. I right tight close. I right tight close. Goal line counter left. Tight end wing to the right. Hand off Carter over left oh. guard. Six points. Kajana Carter, eighth rushing touchdown. Watch a play action. Watch a goofy play. Hey, watch play action. Watch play action now. Little play action fake. Tom Tumblety comes on the blitz. He pressures Harbaugh. And Indianapolis is now an extra point away from tying the game. Blake back to throw. Looks being chased. Blake in the end zone. Touchdown. Carl Pickett. He came in free there. That was a great play by Jeff. Well, Mario Lewis, we're playing pretty good, boys. But by the fourth quarter, the Colts had matched the Bengals blow for blow, evening the score four times. Kozlet searched for a play that would finally put them away. We talk about resiliency. These Colts, you have to hit them with an anvil to knock them out. We break flip X short. 78X, nail it. Touchdown. Touchdown right here. Come on, blitz again. Blitz again. Blake back to toss it again. Looks pressure coming. Fires. Touchdown. Yes. Touchdown. Money McGee. Well, I knew I wanted to run that play sometime. Come here. Oh. Hey, come on now. Is that Big Ben? Yeah. yeah. Okay, knock this down. Don't try to catch it. All right? Knock it down. No penalty. All right? Got one last pass rush out, man. The Bengals. Will drop into a big time umbrella prevent defense. Only six seconds left in the game. Franks and fires long down the right side of the field. Ball is tipped away. Intercepted by the Bengals. Get out of Get out of that ends the football game and ends the season for the Bengals. Bruce Coslett remains unbeaten as the head coach at Synergy Field. And the Bengals take a great deal of momentum into 1997 with this victory. Next season, the bright future of the squad will shine as a reflection of the past, adding their sparkle to the Bengals' 30th anniversary celebration. And the team that Paul Brown built three decades ago will be honored. Igniting memories of the heroes and history of the Cincinnati Bengals.
New Edge Pro Gel presents the Cincinnati Bengals Ultimate Performance of 1996. In week 11, the Cincinnati Bengals rallied three times from a seven point deficit to defeat divisional rival Pittsburgh. On the last play before the half, Bengals return man David Dunn ran back the Steelers kickoff 90 yards to tie the score at 17. Quarterback Jeff Blake found Kijana Carter for the go-ahead touchdown and Carter's second score of the day as Cincinnati defeated the Steelers 34 to 24.